Hi everyone, my name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use PowerPoint Zoom links to make your presentation more dynamic and engaging. There are three different types of Zoom links in PowerPoint. Summary Zoom, Section Zoom, and Slide Zoom. I'll explain all three. I put a timestamp in the description if you want to skip ahead to a specific section. So let's get into it. Here's a typical presentation. You have your title slide followed by the agenda and maybe have some section dividers for each agenda topic. This is fine, except when you have a long presentation with many slides, the audience can lose their place and forget where they are in the presentation. There are many ways to address this concern. Personally, I like to use Summary Zoom to manage the flow between sections. Basically, Summary Zoom is a slide that has the first slide of each section as thumbnails, and when you click on one, you zoom into that section where you can go through the slides. And after the last slide of the section, you have the option to return to the summary page where you can choose which section to move to next by clicking on the appropriate thumbnail. This is great since it reminds the audience where we are in the presentation and the zoom animation keeps things dynamic without being cheesy and engages the audience. Creating summary zoom is super simple. Let me show you how to create it. Go to the insert tab, then choose Zoom from the link section. Choose the first option for Summary Zoom. Then select the first slide of each section. And hit Insert. A new summary slide has been created. And you see that section dividers have been automatically created for us. Now you can of course redesign the summary slide to how you want it to look. I'm just going to change the background color and add a title to it. I'll go over to the previous slide and simply copy and paste the elements from it. So in the example that I showed you, the zoom transition returned to the summary slide after each section. You can actually turn this option off so that the zoom transition moves from section to section without returning back to the summary slide. If you want to do this, click on a thumbnail, choose format, and in the zoom options, uncheck return to zoom. Now let's start the slideshow and see what happens. See here, rather than returning to the summary slide, it simply moves on to the next section. The default option is to return to the summary slide, so you'll have to change this for each of the thumbnails. So next I want to show you how to use section zoom. This is similar to summary zoom, where you can create a thumbnail links to sections you want to double click into, but it doesn't create a summary slide. Let's go down to one of the marketing slides. Let's say that we want to create a link to the operations section here. Let's delete this icon. Go to Insert, Zoom, then Section Zoom. Choose the Operations section, which we renamed Section 3. Hit Insert. The thumbnail is too big, so we can resize it. I happen to know the height of the other icon, so I'll type it in here. And of course, you can further resize or reposition as you see fit. But for our purpose, this is fine. Let's start the slideshow. When you click on the thumbnail, you zoom into the section. And after the last slide in that section, you are returned back to the current slide. There's one important thing I want to call out. In order to use section zoom, you must have the sections defined first. If you don't have any sections, the option to add section zoom will be disabled. Let's remove all of the sections. Right click on any of the section dividers and select remove all sections. If you go to the zoom menu, you'll see that section zoom is grayed out. And that's of course because we don't currently have any sections defined. So let's define the sections. Right click just before the first slide of each section. Select add section and give it a name. Now you have the option to use Section Zoom. 
you have all the sections defined to choose from. The last thing I want to show you is slide zoom. As the name suggests, you can select any slides in your presentation to zoom into. This option is useful if you have elements in your slides that has additional details we can explore. Here we have a template for an About Us slide. I want to provide a summary view of our company here, but want the option to double click in for more details. Go to Insert, Zoom, then Slide Zoom. Then choose the slides that you want to include in the About Us slide. I'll check all three. I'm going to position each thumbnail in the shapes in the template and align them. I'm also going to format each thumbnail to remove its background to match the zoom background. I won't go over the different zoom formatting here, but you have a lot of options and can get really creative. Now let's start the slideshow and see how this looks. As with the summary zoom and the section zoom, we have the option to return to the zoom slide after each slide. Select the thumbnail, choose format, then check return to zoom. I'll do this for all three thumbnails. Now the slideshow looks like this. To recap, Summary Zoom creates a summary slide with all of your sections as thumbnails. When presenting, you can select any sections and move through different parts of the presentation in any order you like. Section Zoom is similar to the Summary Zoom, but it does not create a summary slide. You can choose which sections you want to link to and embed the thumbnails in any slide. After you've gone through all the slides in the section, you'll return to the Section Zoom slide. In Slide Zoom, you simply select the slides you want to link to and embed the thumbnails where you want. This is a good option for shorter presentation without a lot of sections. I hope you agree that these slides are a lot more dynamic and interesting and you have another arsenal in your toolkit for your next presentation. If you enjoyed this video, please like and give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in contents like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.